Hi, Pebbles, Pebbles, not binary Pebbles. How's you? How are you doing? How the kids have wife care for amazing? I'm stuttering so much. Okay, first of all, I dare one of y'all to say something about my prom, the about the promise I made about the videos. I dare, I dare, a double doggy style dare. <laughs> but um, I also realized that there was this really really old video that still has the old intro with the old song. Um, I have a new intro by the way. <laughs> Um, that has, it has the old intro and the old song, and it's kind of, it's kind of, it's really old. I had it for, like, four, six months, actually, <laughs> six months, um, and I never posted it, because I was gonna, I was gonna post it soon, I had that idea, and then I, cha- and then I decided, that, oh, I don't like this song, and I changed the song of the intro, and then I also changed the, um, font for the thumbnails and stuff, and I'm like, okay, so, now I need to redo this video but i didn't feel like redoing it because you know i'm lazy and i already haven't finished editing the two videos i promised i'd upload but um so yeah because while you guys wait for me to edit those two videos the videos that i promised and i definitely most likely will get out um you guys will have this video to watch um so like yeah it's very old i've said that like six times probably six times already but it's very old It's very cringe, just like all my other content. So just enjoy this, okay? Listener. Hello? Hello, a listener. I know you're in here. I literally saw you walk in here like a few seconds ago. Listener, I know you're in here. Found you. What What was that? Show me. Show me right now. Thank you very much. Why don't you show? Like, it's not, it's not that deep. I don't think it's that deep, personally. I don't think it's that deep. It can't be that. They just show me. It's not that serious. Show me what you hid behind your back so quickly when I found you. Please. And thank you. You know what? Fuck you. How about that? How about that? How about... Mm. Boom. Just show me it's not that serious. You know what? I'm just gonna force it out of your hands because this is ridiculous. It's ridic. It's it's so ridiculous. It's for goddamn ridiculous. That's what it is. Give me. Okay. All right. All right. We're doing this bullshit. Okay. Give me. On the count of three. One. Two. Two and a quarter. Two and one-thirds. Two and a half. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. What is this? What the fuck is this? What is it? This is... Am I holding something dirty? Okay, okay, good, good. Uh, I was about to say. Uh, what is this? Is it open? Is it... How do I... Oh, I found it. See, I'm a smart boy. It's a knife. Cool. Why were you hiding this from me? Wait, it has blood on... Did you kill someone? Okay, what? Wait. Wait, wait. Uh, I'm slow, kind of. I am a smart boy. Just not all the time. But, um... <clears throat> you're hiding in the closet. Um, you have... A knife stained with blood. You hid it as soon as I opened the closet and found you. Now the question is why? And there's only two things I can come up with. You're either not supposed to have this and or you killed someone without Slender Man's permission. Those two fall under the same umbrella. Do not question me. Or... You're doing the unthinkable. 
I do not want it to be the second option. I would rather it be the first option. Please tell me it's the first option. If you're not going to be honest, then I'll find out myself. So please, so tell me it's the first option and be a dead ass. Or I'll find out for myself. And I don't think you want me to find out for myself. Suit yourself then. Yeah, I fucking knew it. I knew it. Why? Why? Just why? If it's because your past, your past doesn't mean anything. Just think about the future and shit. Think about what you have right now. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe you would do this. Like, you don't seem like you're so happy all the time. It's weird, strange. You're so happy. You're bubbly. You rarely get angry and i almost never see you sad this is great it's beyond me like okay we need to get rid of all the sharp objects in here that includes pencils pens notebooks paper yes notebooks and paper because you can prick yourself on the spines of the books paper cuts exist um we might as well just get rid of everything. You might as well just sleep in my room because I have like almost no- actually that's a lie. Um, and yeah, you no know sleep in my room because I don't trust you being by yourself. I don't know what you you could have you could have slipped up and hurt yourself bad. Like worse than that. Like like we we we're gonna need to wrap that up. Like now, so come with me. We're gonna get you fixed up, and then you can explain everything later. Come on, let's talk more walking. You are honestly an idiot, you know that? No, you know, because no, because you are an idiot thinking this is gonna help you with your trauma. Did you cut anywhere else? Okay, good. Are you lying? No, because I don't trust you anymore. Not not as in like... Not as in like, I don't trust you with... I just don't... I don't know how to phrase it. I just don't trust you to be by yourself. I don't trust you to tell me the truth about this. Because I've... Believe it or not, I've been friends with people who do this. And they don't tell the truth often. And... Other stuff happened, and they, the you know, but they didn't tell me how they felt, and I couldn't help them, so I at least want to help you, because if you're gone, hell am I going to do, hang out with Jeff? That's boring. Very, very boring. Okay, maybe not boring, boring, but it's, it's more, it's boring-er than hanging out with you. Calling you entertaining. Okay, good, good. I'm glad that you got that. But can you just, like, not do this anymore? No, because it's hurting me and I know it's hurting you. I mean, clearly. It's hurting the both of us. It's hurting me more, probably, than you think. And it's hurting you more, way more than you think. Not only is it messing up your beautiful skin, but it's messing up your beautiful brain as well. Like, your emotions are getting mixed up. You're thinking this is going to solve all of your problems. It's weird. Stop it. Like, you don't need to do this. There are other forms of ways you can do this. Um, I've done a lot of research. Um, you can take red markers, draw it along your skin... And that would simulate the, you know, illusion of blood. Or you can hold ice cubes until you literally feel like you can't hold it anymore. And I suggest doing that with a red marker. Because it's like an even balance of the pain and then the illusion of red. And then you can also take rubber bands and slap it um, around your wrists. That's still self-harm, but it's better than... No, cutting yourself. Like, just don't do it anymore. Take what I said 
into mind. Maybe I can buy you hella red markers and you can just draw along your body. Hell, get Sally to draw um, around your body. Like, just do anything else except this. This is what's really hurting you. Think your trauma is hurting you. Think the the world is hurting you. Think God screwed you over. But no. You think your trauma is the cause and the self-harm is the effect. But no. Your trauma and the self-harm are both causes. And your pain and suffering is the effect. There's nothing more vile, gross, disgusting, and unhelpful than self-harm and also eating disorders. Eat, drink water. Have you had water today? How much water have you drinking today? Or just how much water have you drinking this week? I thought so. Not enough. So we're going to go get you some water. Then you're going to take a nap because you need it. You look like you haven't slept in three months. That's not... I wouldn't say it's a compliment, but it's also not a roast. I'm just stating the obvious. Brutally honest. But we're going to get you some water. Gonna have you take a nap. And then when you wake up, you can... Oh, well, we'll get Jeff, maybe Ash in here, and we'll play some video games. How about that? Just need us surrounded with people. As much as you don't want to, probably... You need to be surrounded by people, and what better people to be surrounded by than people that love you. It's normal to feel this way. It's normal to feel people don't like you, I think. But it's not normal to think everyone doesn't like you. Someone out there, many people out there, like you for who you are and what you do for them. So... Just think about all the people you've done stuff for. Think about how they treat you back. If they treat you positively, then they love you and they genuinely care about you. If they treat you negatively, cut them off, throw them in a river, drown them. Pun was not intended. If you laugh, I will, I will hurt you. I'm just kidding. I, would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Never. No, not in a billion years. So, to get you that water, let's get you a nap, and then we'll play games later. Hell, I'll let you choose the game. We could probably play Mario Kart. Well, mm, I've played Mario Kart a lot. I will, t- I will whoop your asses in Mario Kart. But, hmm, I got other games. Okay, I guess Mario Kart's the one then. Jeff actually hates Mario Kart. Oh, shit. (laughs) Oh, he's gonna be so mad. Sorry, I'm trailing off. You, you're the main focus here. You, listener. You are the main focus for today and for the rest as I shall exist. Which is probably gonna be forever. So you are forever the main topic. Just try to smile more. Your smile is very, very pretty. That's just me stating the facts. Your smile is pretty. Your skin is pretty. Stop messing up your skin, please. I'm not saying it's unattractive, no. You're attractive even with scars, but that doesn't mean you have to keep adding them. Just no more cuts. No more bruises, don't bang your head against the wall, don't smack yourself, don't pinch yourself. Um, This also accounts mentally. So don't abuse yourself mentally and don't abuse yourself physically. The only exception to getting hurt is if if it's an accident or you're in a fight. Those are the only exceptions. If you go beyond those and test your luck... Be my guest because bad things will come your way. I'm just saying, just saying, not saying exactly what the bad things are. I'm just saying bad things will come your way. 
and they will not be great once so ever. So just be calm, be collected, and don't lose your brain. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay. Let's go get you water. Let's get you a nap. And then I'll get Jeff and Ash and we'll play games.